And we are back, Friends in Service to Humanity, also known as FISH, an organization dedicated to aiding the elderly, disabled, and those who are facing crisis. Services include informational and referral shopping, errand running, providing food, as well as offering clothing for small household items. We've got now sharing some insight, the Director of Friends in Service to Humanity, Alice Crespo. And Alice, thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. And a, a wonderful organization that's making such a huge impact in the community. Talk to us a little bit about the work that goes on. Um, well, what we do is we have an answering service that takes the calls, and then we call them back, and we find out what it is that a person needs, and we try to help them. The first person that I helped was a lady that needed a suitcase as well as a um, McDonald's gift certificate because she was riding to another state and she didn't have very many belongings and she would have nothing to eat when, she, when the bus made a rest stop. So she asked us to please step in and help her. Good work there. Talk to me about individuals because sometimes we talk about individuals making the difference as opposed to professionals. And so um, how does the organization really lean into the individual approach rather than the professional approach? Uh, well, what we do is we have uh, some volunteers and we're looking for many more volunteers. And we believe that everybody can help and everybody can be helped. So what we do is when we have a need, we send an email to all our volunteers to see who can fill that need. It may be one person, it may be a couple of people, depending on what the need is. And when we talk about those needs, how does a person go about identifying to you what those needs are? Is there a process in terms of saying, hey, I have this need, what's the process from there? Uh, what we do is we talk to the individual to see, we try to avoid as much paperwork as possible. Mm. We talk to the individual to see what it is that they need and why. In the case of this woman, she was obviously going moving to another state, um, and her need was very small, a suitcase and a, you know, a gift certificate to McDonald's so she could have something to eat. And we realized that um, you know, she was telling the truth, and so we just we worked from there. You do a lot of great work, and uh, I talk about some of the things that you've already done, but also uh, you're an interpreter, a Spanish interpreter in the courts there as well. Yes, I'm a Spanish interpreter. That means I can also help people who uh, only speak Spanish. Um, we're happy to help them as well, because we, and we, if we have to, we'll get an interpreter in other languages as well. And anyone who wants to volunteer should call us at 347 Seven three zero five six five eight. Leave your name and phone number slowly, and we will get back to you. Talk to me about the work that you're doing, like as an interpreter, really being with boots on the ground, helping people out uh, for yourself as a part of a life's mission. Uh, well, what I do is I am by profession an interpreter, and uh, I can help. I help people, or I work for the courts but I also have helped people. I helped one lady go to Social Security. She wanted to make sure there was someone there that could understand her, and so I just went with her and helped her out. And so for people who want to know a little bit more about your life, you've got a life that's filled with resilience and really uh, you know, bouncing back and doing some great things. You're inspiring people because you also have a book. Uh, yes, I have a book called... Um, all with God, all things are possible. Um, never be discouraged. With God, all things are possible. Um, and I wrote this book uh, because I am a person who is totally blind. I was born that way. Um, and everyone always told me that I couldn't do anything, that I'd become nothing of my life, blah, 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 because my parents uh, weren't the best. And... I was out to prove everybody wrong, and so I graduated from Hunter College. I became a court interpreter. I got off the system, um, and now I have a, a, a job, and I have a, an apartment, and I also run another organization called Helping Hands for the Disabled, which uh, Fish also helps with. And um, 
I help people and I encourage people to never let their obstacles let them down. The message that you talk about of resilience that really resounds right now is that you pretty much didn't accept what people said. Uh, what advice do you give somebody who says, listen, uh, I've got some challenges, but yet and still I feel as though, um, you know, I want to quit. What would be the advice that you give? Never quit. You can always figure it out no matter how hard it gets, no matter how bad it gets. You can always go on. Yeah. And for people who want to be connected to FISH and the work that goes on there, um, how can somebody be a volunteer? You talk about needing volunteers. Uh, what's the process for those who want to become volunteers? The process is we fill out a short form, we get some references, and then we put you on to um, our list. And as needs come up, we will um, um, call you and see if you can assist us. Can you share a little bit more about the needs? Because uh, what are the needs that you're finding more prevalent in our community right now? Um, a lot of elderly people and disabled people who need help getting to their medical appointments. That's a real big need. Or who need help getting to, say, the DMV if they have to get a non-driver's ID. Um, or people who need help with the computers who don't know how to access the online stuff. Uh, things like that. Yeah. Well, Alice, we want to thank you so much for being with us and sharing uh, great work that's going on with FISH and then also uh, the book that's out and then also Helping Hands for the Disabled of New York City and then Friends in Service for Humanity. A lot of work that's going on. Alice Crespo uh, right there at the center of it. And thank you so much for being with us, Alice. Thank you very much for having us. And I do hope to get lots of calls and emails. Yes. Can you share our email address? I, I'll get ready to do that right now. She said, can I share the email address? I'm going to do even better than that. I'm going to share the email and the Instagram. For more information, follow them on their Instagram, at Friends in Service to Humanity. And then also, you've got a, we've got an email address, and we've also got the Twitter address uh, that you see on the screen. So.